question assalamu alaikum dear sir i am from bangladesh and i am a final year bsc student i don't want to flash my name is it permissible to chat in facebook messenger with one of our classmates who is a non mahram about our deen like sharing hadith sharing quranic verses encouraging each other like fasting on mondays and thursdays and some random chats keeping in mind that no fitna is committed here is it permissible the sister is asking a question that is it permissible for her to chat on the facebook messenger with her non mahram classmates that means a boy who is a classmate you know maybe for doing dawa or for quranic verse or hadith and you know general chats taking care that no fitna is done it's like someone asked me the question that can i have alcohol and i'll take care that i will not get intoxicated if you're going to have alcohol <laughs> there are high chances almost very high chances that you'll get intoxicated N now as far as the islamic ruling is concerned for a girl or a boy who are non mahram to chat on the social media whether it be facebook or whether it be whatsapp or whether it be you know, twitter here the verse of the quran from surah isra chapter number 17 verse number 32 says come not close to adultery for it is an evil opening other roads to evil here allah is saying allah is not saying don't do adultery allah is saying come not close to adultery adultery is a major sin zina is a major sin it is the 11th major sin according to imam adhabi in his book al qabair he places zina as the 11th major sin but here allah says come not close to zina because it's an evil opening other roads to evil so all these things chatting on the facebook messenger or chatting on the whatsapp or chatting with sms on the social media these are fitna you cannot say i will do with the nahmaram if you are doing with the same sex there is no problem whether it be facebook messenger whether it be whatsapp whether it be sms if you are chatting or texting amongst your friends of the same sex it's perfectly allowed but texting texting with the opposite sex most of the time it's haram most of the time certain times an emergency when required if you do it's permissible but just like how you said you know we want to chat and we will see to it that we will stay away from fitna it's not possible if you come close to fire there are high chances that your hand will get burnt you cannot say i will put my i will get my hand close to the fire and nothing will happen the reason is that all these are khutwa to shaitan allah says in the quran in surah baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 168 that stay away from the khutwa to shaitan for verily the satan to you is an avowed enemy so these all these things are the starting the stepping stone for the major sin i'll give an example that suppose a nameram girl phones a man and the phone rings and he picks up and he says oh maybe a classmate like as you mentioned he will say speaking to a girl on the phone no problem what is the harm i'm not doing any haram i'm not staring at her i'm not doing zina speaking to a girl on the phone no problem and when they speak and the shaitan comes then after speaking for a few times on the phone then they may say let's have coffee in the cafe and they say okay having coffee together in a cafe no problem she's just a friend there is no problem having coffee together then later on they say let's have dinner together in a restaurant then having dinner having coffee together then later on they say let's have dinner together in a restaurant then having dinner no problem all these are khutwa to shaitan therefore allah says come not close to adultery it's an evil 
opening other roads to evil. So all these things like for example shaking hands, like chatting on the social media or even chatting face to face with a non, with a non mehram staring at them, it is not permitted. All these are khutwatu shaitan, all these are things which are haram because they are stepping stone towards the major sin. And Islam is very clear cut. In this case, you cannot stay alone with a Naam in a closed door. The Prophet said, if two Naam men and women are together, the third person is the devil. Today we find in the modern age, no problem. They, the friends, girls and boys who are Naam they meet, they chat, they laugh together, they shake hands, they hit one another. It's very common. All these are haram. And shaking hands, shaking hand, it's a stepping stone. If a non, if a non mehram shake hands, it's a stepping stone towards a greater evil. That is the reason even shaking hands with a non mehram is prohibited. So similarly, even chatting on the social media, whether Facebook Messenger, whether it be WhatsApp, whether it be SMS, with a non mehram is prohibited unless it's an emergency where if it's a requirement. In emergency when you do it, it is once in a blue moon and the emergency doesn't happen with the same two people. For example, if an emergency, if you do, it may happen with any non mehram no problem. It's an emergency, your mind doesn't deviate and you take your precaution. This thing happens when it is repeated. If you repeatedly talk with the same girl on the phone, there are chances you may do bigger evil. If you repeatedly chat with the same girl, same girl and boy who are non-mehram, repeatedly chat, then it happens like there's a saying in Urdu, Dil lagaya ghadi se to pari kya cheez hai. So when you keep on meeting more often the opposite sex who are non-mehram, the shaitan comes, the devil comes and it leads to zina and various other evils. Therefore, the Muslims, men and women, boys and girls, non mehram should not chat unless if it's a requirement, if it's an emergency, once in a blue moon, keeping your limits, not using words which are obscene, seeing to it that the language is proper, seeing to it it doesn't happen regularly. If these precautions are taken, once in a blue moon permitted, not that it's haram to speak to a girl. When you're speaking to a girl, see to it that you lower your gaze. If you maintain the Islamic decorum, it's fine. But regularly chatting, it's un-Islamic. That's the reason my advice to you, sister, would be that you should not do it. And again, oh, I'm doing for Dawa. We're exchanging Quranic verses. We're exchanging Hadith. These are also the whispers of the Satan. If they know you're Islamic, okay, you will not chat with the non mehram So the Sajidan says, okay, exchange hadith with the non mehram friend. Exchange Quranic verse. That you can do with the female friends. But opposite sex, it should be avoided. It should not be done. What you can do, yes. If you write an article, and if that article is read by non mehram no problem. If you're writing a book on Islam, and if that book on Islam is read by men, that's not a problem. Because there is no direct contact one to one. So in certain things, in this way, like writing articles, if you are good with the pen, or if you are writing a blog, in this way there is no direct contact. In general level, in public level, such things can be done. But one to one with the opposite sex, there are high danger and high chances that it may lead to other major sins.